In this video, you'll see how I help my USD Russian bees over winter in Maine. In neighboring Vermont, Kirk Webster, a long-time commercial treatment-free beekeeper, also keeps Russian bees for the last 20 years. Kirk Webster says that the Russian bees are still the best primary source of breeding stock for non-treatment beekeeping. So about overwintering my Russian bees in Maine. These breathable, zippable, natural burlap pillows are filled with real sheep wool. I place these pillows on top of the bee nest for insulation and moisture control. In between the nest and the sheep wool pillows, I also add a strip of 100% wool army blanket for additional insulation, making sure that it does not reach all the way to the bottom to allow ventilation. This bigger wool filled pillow is made of natural canvas. It's also breathable. This peaked roof horizontal hive has some of the summertime indirect top vents blocked with duct tape. In my view, there's a delicate balancing act between ventilation and insulation, and it depends not only on the weather, but also on the race of the bees. These Russian bees will winter well. To see some dead bees on the snow is not actually a bad thing. Paradoxically, having dead bees in front of the beehive just means that the colony is alive and doing well as the caretaker bees keep dutifully removing their dead out of the beehive. The circular entrance disc is set for a wintertime mouse guard setting, and when I open it, there's just one unremoved dead bee there, so the entrance is pretty clear. Unfortunately, the mouse guard setting for this circular entrance disc is not always very well suited for cold main winters. Here's another colony, where the same mouse guard setting kept the entrance completely clogged, when it's very cold, it can be difficult for the caretaker bees to remove their dead if the bottom of the disc's mouse guard opening is not properly aligned with the bottom of the real entrance opening. As I want to avoid manually clearing the entrances with the mouse guard on, this is my redneck modification of a mouse guard setting for a circular disc entrance. There's two copper tapes on two sides, and in between them there's a copper wire mesh as mice hate copper, this will serve as a mouse guard during the winter. And its bottom is properly aligned with the bottom entrance, so it's much easier for the caretaker bees, without flying in bitter cold, to remove their dead ones and keep the entrance clear. Thanks for watching. Please hit like and subscribe.